Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Oregon State Beavers and the Arizona State Sun Devils. Number four is the franchise type player this team turns to night in and night out. This kid plays an all around game, Brad. He shoots with the best of them and can get it done on his defensive end. What more can a coach ask for? The Sun Devils will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. The Sun Devils should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. First, play your game. It's up to the point guard to make certain that they stay in their game and they play at their pace. Second of all, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. Thirdly, be monsters on the boards. Don't be afraid to get tangled up. Crash the glass. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Down inside, the power forward receives the ball and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Defensively trying to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. On the dribble, gives it up. High post flasher is open. Gave it up. Well, handles the feed. Vicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Up and in. <laughs> trying to feed the low block. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Moving it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Wood is emotionally fired up. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Carney handles the pass. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. They go into the low block. The center receives the pass. Fires away. He gets it to go. Trying to feed the low block. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Double team now. That angle. They work it back to the outside. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Tries for two, drains the shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Thinks about the shot. Tries a three. Makes it. Replay of the night, baby. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. 
Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. For two, they still don't score. Stolen ball. Leans in. Arizona State are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nestler. we got a good one going. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Great play to take that to the basket. Look at these fans. They're loving it. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Goes up for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Look at that spacing. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Both teams looking to get things going here. Here's a double team. Stolen away. High post screen. Going to use it. On the dribble. Gives it up. And Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Now the turnaround jump. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, cool time out and get your boys into the game, Brad. On the outside. Gave it up. Jumps into the defender. And he scores despite the hack. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped up. Perfectly executed. the ball they get it out into transition trying to draw some contact dick they're ripping up the nets tonight and hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight great execution by these boys and they get the turnover Mary's at home that's eight on answer The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win. The student section looks like they're having a great time. There's the trap. Launches the three. He gets the bucket. On the dribble, gives it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. pass in the paint. Arizona State are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. 
He gets it up the floor with a quick push. Number three is called for the foul. First team foul. Just play, son. Just play. Play your game, Dita Tonti. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets the first. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. High post flashes for the ball handler. There's a double team waiting there. Outside jumper. That's good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. It's stolen. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. The skip pass is picked off. Well, makes a great move to draw the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Well, goes to the line for the first time. If you can't miss free throws, Dick, it's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing, like football, special situations. you got to be able to execute there. Gets a second. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. Thanks, Aaron. On the inside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Goes up for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chill. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the sixth man for no reason. intensity with a knife. It's crazy in here, Brad. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. For the bucket, perfectly executed. for two and off the mark. Stolen away.
ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Controlling the ball. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Abrams pounded on his way up. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Off of a nylon in the end. A lot of pressure on a basketball. Way to play the ball. Tough. Drive him, beat him, turn him, beat him to his spot. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's a double team. Turnover City, though, will always really negate any offense. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And now they'll bring it up. He tries the three ball. Nice shot. Goes up for two. In and out. Buried it. perimeter the student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team the student body looks like they're having some fun out there this defender is resilient still applying pressure he shoots from the top of the circle he gets it to fall Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He shoots from left of the circle. Bradford from downtown. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, that silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Gave it up. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Working around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. On the outside. He shoots from the top of the key. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for. Dick. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter my lane, baby. Get it out of here on the landlord. ready to start again. Look at that spacing. 
from downtown. That's an ill-advised shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. He goes for three. That was nice. off the lazy pass and the fans are going wild hey pandemonium is in full effect they're lighting it up from the field right now Dick. they're in a dangerous rhythm my friend dangerous dangerous for the defense if they keep it up on the outside picks off the pass gave it up for two perfectly executed they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, really doing a great job packing it in did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass gets it back out 10 seconds on the shot clock. He drains the shot. He takes it away. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. On the dribble, gives it up. Robs him of the ball. With a deep pass. Number two, pump fakes. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He pulls the trigger. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. on the steal that's going to be the offense's game yes sir they got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble two for one opportunity entry pass in the paint pushing that basketball help one another communicate i tell you what a nice turnaround jump shot soft as velvet fading away impossible to block this is college basketball at its best, Dick. It's electrifying in here. The ball goes out of bounds. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. It around the arc. Fakes a jumper. A high screen. He strokes it. Makes the shot. Launches it. It sticks. At the end of the first half, the Sun Devils are ahead by eight. We've had a very tight contest tonight, Dick. What's your highlight of the half? Watch the great work here on the inside for the score. I expect both these teams to do more of the same and continue to pound the ball inside in the second half. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. Arizona State shot a very good percentage in that first half. Patience and perfect execution played a very big part in that, Brad. Great job by the offense. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots.
for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Goes up for two. Drains it. Picked out of the air. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. He gets the shot to fall. He throws it up from downtown. You betcha. Lobs it. Jumps in. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. For contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. And now there's a whistle and foul. You start comparing these backboards, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long way. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble attack here and turns it over. man in high post. Look at that student body. They are going mad. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. High post screen. Looking for the foul. Easy one. Controlling the ball. Goes for the deep one. He's money with the shot. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Good job defensively. For the bucket. There was no doubt about that one. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. The ball goes out of play. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Moving it around the perimeter. Here he comes defensively on him in the low block. I tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the inside. Puts it up, looking for contact. The Beavers trail by 13. Dribble gives it up. He intercepts it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Defense giving some room. And the ball goes out of bounds.
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries for two. I tell you, you got to be exceptional to make that shot. Because a lot of coaches don't like it because you're going away in that rebound position. You better make it count. Now they're working around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Double team now, bad angle. Strips the ball. From three point land. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. That shot was definitely ill advised. Takes away the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Here they come now on a turnover. For two, drains the shot. Let's see it if the replay does that any justice. Spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, bro. Player flashing. Leans in. Gets it to go. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Looks at the three. Makes it. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can... Makes an outstanding block. On the outside. Gave it up. They come with a double team to stop it. Tries to get the D to bite. He uses the shot fake. And he'll kick it back outside. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position. So he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. On the dribble, gives it up. He comes away with it. Here they go into transition. He shoots. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Side. He shoots from the top of the circle. Bradford dials long distance. Looking for a good shot. The top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. Got the high pick. From left of the circle. He drains it. The D has no energy left on offense. Their life is being sucked out of them right now in the defensive end. Here's the 
Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step. Blah, blah, blah. He gets that one to fall. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. We're going to move it around the perimeter for the bucket. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. They push it up on the break. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. And the slam. There's the trap. Takes it off him. They run it up into transition. Tries for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Looking for a good shot. On the outside. There's the fake. Foul charge. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? How important is it to get to the free throw? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people into foul trouble. Second one is no good. He gets the rebound. Takes away the pass. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? execution goes home with the big W. And the ball goes out of play. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, welcoming shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. He really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Here's a flash from the high post. He takes it away. Transition opportunity coming up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Picks off the lazy pass. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Working around the 
perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Accepts it. The Beavers have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He's got the man on the high post if he can get it there. He launches the bomb. Brings the shot. Spencer handles the feed. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. The power forward with the ball. And off the mark. He shoots from the top of the circle. He nails it from downtown. The Beavers lead by six. Dumps it in. He comes away with it. three-quarter position trying to deny but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball good job defensively they just won't get many openings basketball intercepted There's a double team waiting there. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, backcourt play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. To pick up the defense here now. Time expires on the shot clock. That's fantastic, D. Brad. What happened was that the defense took away every conceivable good look at the basket. On the inside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Pump fakes. Now the turnaround jump. Oregon State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. The silence is almost unbearable, Dick. The crowd has had very little to cheer about. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. On the outside. Double team now, bad angle. Pass down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from the baseline. Rims out. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Picks off the pass.
Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. He makes the block. Got it in the low block. Wood. And a chance for a three-point play. The old-fashioned way, as we say. side and everything has fallen into place their body language dick says it all hey brad the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun we've got an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line well, he created the foul opportunity dick you were a math teacher mathematically i think this one's over start the bus baby this one is over the winning team can't relax they're over there feeling good He looks for the bomb. Oh, yes. Taken away. Gave it up. The center receives the ball. Looks at a three. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little, or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. Up fake. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Steals the ball. Look at that spacing. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. This whole team that's on the floor is quick, but so is the defense, and they do a nice job. It's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock. Dick. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. And the clock stopped with a foul. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. A chance for one and the bonus. Makes the front end of the one and one. Coach doesn't like what he's seeing right now. He's called a timeout. Just about ready for a play to resume. Kicks it out for the deuce. The lane. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Let's see if they can get a two on this end. That tight defense forces a five-second call. The offense begins off the sideline inbounds. They work it around the perimeter. 
from the top of the key. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Nick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Little two-man game here, Brad. For two. Off the rim and no good. floor looks for a three-pointer rims out tries for two they are red hot right now they're feeling it from everybody on the floor Brad they're getting it from every spot on the court Arizona State couldn't get enough going before the final buzzer. This is the type of game that the coaching staff will be studying for weeks to come. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.